In the 18-page handwritten complaint, Boston Marathon bomber Jahar Zernayev writes he's suffering psychological injury, emotional distress, and destruction of his relationship with his family. Zernayev is suing, saying his constitutional rights are being violated in prison. He wants to be able to send his family photographs and hobby crafts he's made. He wants to talk to his nieces and nephews on the phone. And he wants back a white baseball cap and Aztec red bandana that were taken from him. Do you think he has a chance to win this complaint? No, I do not. And I don't think he should have a snowball's chance in hell of winning the complaint. Michael Coyne is the dean of the Massachusetts School of Law. He says the constraints are stronger because of Zernayev's crime. The conditions he is being exposed to are harsh, without a doubt. But they're, the reason they are so restrictive is because he is considered such a danger. Zernayev was convicted in the 2013 bombings that killed three people and injured more than 260. His death sentence was overturned last year, and the Justice Department has asked the Supreme Court to look at the case. Zernayev is being held in a supermax prison in Florence, Colorado, referred to as the Alcatraz of the Rockies. In the complaint dated March 2nd, Zarnayev writes he bought a white baseball cap and bandana from the commissary to ward off the summer heat. When they were confiscated, he says he was told he was disrespecting the FBI and the victims in his case, and he knows this. There are people that have uh, lost both legs and uh, parents who have lost their children. What he's suffering from in maximum security will never replicate the, the heartache that those people have to carry for the rest of their life. The Department of Justice declines to comment as for why a white hat would be seen as disrespectful. Jahar Zarnai was wearing a white hat when the bombs went off, and he was also referred to as white hat by the FBI as they were searching for him. Chef. Perry Russom, live in Boston. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.